What's up guys? Jason here again and uh, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of an update video. I'm so sorry that you haven't heard from me in a little bit. Um, I just haven't been uh, too motivated in making videos lately. Um, as you guys can understand there's a bit of a uh, third wave at the moment going on so uh, there's not too much to do at the moment um, but uh, there is some good news the restaurants uh, here in Pattaya are starting to open up um, and uh, you're allowed uh, I think 25% uh, capacity in these restaurants up until 11 p.m. as well so that's really really good news and Pattaya has also been changed from the dark red zone to the just the red zone in terms of uh, COVID and the cases there so we're in the second highest category now not the highest category anymore so that's also also good news I'm very thankful for that as well gives me a bit more freedom I've also got some more good news coming up so I'm going to be tra traveling a little bit more um, in the very near future um, there's gonna be Koh Samet which is a nearby island in Rayong uh, which will be opening up or has opened up already from what I understand so I'll be heading there very very shortly I cannot wait for that I'm also going to explore a bit more of Pattaya as well the general Pattaya region in terms of Jom Tien in terms of Pratsumnak and also start to hip as well. I want to check out some of those places as well. So the next sort of few videos, uh, the next sort of month or two, I'll be based around this area. Um, unfortunately, I still don't see when I'll be able to travel outside of this area. Um, like the first few months I was in Thailand. So um, uh, sorry for that guys. I'm just going to be based in this area, but um, there's going to be many exciting videos coming up to show this region of Thailand. Um, it's, 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 it's going to be good, man. It's going to be good. I'm very, very excited to get traveling again and things are looking, starting to look good. Uh, this, you know, in terms of the cases, they're still the same around the 2000 mark per day, but um, the government has lifted some restrictions, which is good as well. So that's a very good sign. Um, basically, yeah. So a little bit of an update for um, the room here that I've been in actually. So in the last video, one of the last videos, I would have told you guys I had moved rooms. Actually, I've moved rooms yet again <laughs> in the same building, but another room. Um, the problem with the second room that I had was that the aircon was not working, not cold enough. So it was very, very frustrating. I've always had a problem with the aircon in this building, and yet again, I've had a problem with the aircon. So I've been moved a second, a second time. So this is my third room now. And basically, um, this room is exactly the same as the first room that I was in, the very first room that I showed you. Um, and it's got the same problem again the aircon is also quite loud um, so that's the the issue unfortunately I can't do really much much about it um, I am here in this building for another week so I will be checking out next week and uh, I'm definitely not staying here any longer I will be moving rooms to another place in Pattaya um, it's a, an Airbnb that I got it's very very cheap very very nice I've seen it already in person it's a great great room for a great great price I cannot wait to show you guys that in an upcoming video very soon that's very very exciting but for the moment, I have to deal with this aircon being quite loud again, like the first room, but um, you know, I am quite used to it now. It's just the odd occasion you get, you know, it, it goes quite loud, especially at night time, so that's the only issue with that. But uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it is, man. I'm not gonna get too, uh, too tied up on that, but um, I'm looking forward to moving rooms and I'm looking forward to traveling more. That's the main thing, that's the most exciting thing and uh, things are starting to look up guys. So um, make sure to tune into the, some of the videos in the coming weeks. Guys, it's so dead, man. My goodness, it's Central Festival. I made in Thailand guys wow is empty is a lovely view guys of the cozy beach just down there I'm here at the Luna Beach house in Pratam Nak and it's got a lovely view up here just beautiful man, beautiful, very peaceful, not too busy but it's um, it's a nice little spot to relax and catch some sunsets.
Ice the Milk Guys, 105 baht here at the Luna Beach House. Cheers. Check that out guys, looking dark over there man. I'm here at Sky Gallery guys and I'm just going through the drink selection here so they've got like Italian soda which is quite reasonably priced I've got the blue sky here for 115 and I'm just gonna take you through the menu here and quite reasonable prices here Hello. as well Hello, and um, yeah you've got like the watermelon smoothies over here You've got fruit drinks. And these look really interesting. They're like called these frozen rainbow drinks. And I'm really wanting to try this one here. It's called the coconut watermelon for 165. I'm gonna try that one. I'm thinking it looks quite interesting. They've got plenty of drink selection here as well. It's just endless the amount of drinks they've got here. I mean, just incredible here at the Sky Gallery. So if you guys are interested, have a beautiful sky day. There you go. With a view like this, man. Absolutely incredible. If you guys are wanting a table recommendation, I recommend this one, A14, A14. 14 is my lucky number as well. As promised, guys, frozen rainbow coconut and watermelon look at that man looks like a work of art so as I mentioned guys I'm here at the Sky Gallery um, just an incredible place here the facade are very friendly uh, beautiful view I'm not sure if you guys can see me clearly but um, there's not much lighting here at the moment but Amazing place if you guys come in here. Patia, highly recommended. It's one of my favorites. Um, 
I've been to you know three mermaids sky gallery and uh, Luna Beach house as you saw previously I would still have to say that this place here is probably my favorite and, and uh, this table especially that I got here I was very very lucky and uh, it was an incredible incredible view um, right facing right at the sunset so if you guys come in here highly recommend this place um, they're all located close to each other in the Patamnak area near Cozy Beach so if you're coming here from Patia it's about a 50 to 60 baht uh, taxi ride from central Patia so highly recommend it um, tomorrow I'm heading off to Coast Cement so I'm looking forward to Coast Cement finally getting to travel um, and uh, we'll see what happens coming up it's a little bit of a a confusing situation right now because we don't know where you know the, the whole situation around COVID and everything around quarantine and everything like that around the local sort of travel restrictions so we're going to test it out tomorrow wish me all of this but I'll keep you guys with me so you guys can stay tuned to that um, but so uh, that'll be in the next video coming very shortly Look who's joined me at the table, guys. Got a little pal here. <laughs> Just keeping me company. It's been a good uh, time here tonight. Just coming here alone and looking at the sea, the view of the sea. You know, just coming to reflect on life and the journey that I've had so far. You know, it's coming up now to four months that I've been here in Thailand, which is absolutely unbelievable. Um, if you would have told me last year, this time last year, that I would be here in Thailand, uh, fast forward one year later, I wouldn't believe you, um, because the situation we were in last year was quite uh, not the best. Um, we didn't know when we'd be coming in, in Thailand, um, especially for us Aussies, you know, when they're blocking us from leaving the country unless you apply for an exemption, which is absolutely ridiculous. But, um, you know, just. It's, it's therapeutic man, just looking at the sea and reflecting on life, it really is incredible. I highly recommend you guys connect with nature in some form, whether you're just looking at the sea or taking a walk along the beach. Highly, highly recommended man. To, to believe that I've been here for four months almost, uh, it's, just, uh, it's just crazy. And um, I've always wanted to, I've always had the dream of coming here, um, spending a lot of time here, like, not just a usual two-week holiday I've always wanted to spend more and more time here like a long-term basis and um, it feels surreal that I'm actually living out that dream right now it really does like I, I can't, cannot really stop thinking about it the last few hours um, it's just it's just incredible man incredible it's, it truly is a dream come true and all I can really say to you guys is if you guys have a dream just go after it man especially even during a pandemic right now with so many people are in this negative sort of mindset and you just got to live out your dreams no matter what man so i'm living mine i hope you guys are too i was just looking at my my very first youtube video that i uploaded this was like five months ago now and it was the video titled i'm leaving australia and uh, that was where this whole journey sort of started where the the, plan, the trip was in place coming here and and uh, the fact that i'm here now four months into this trip is just it's mind-blowing man it really is and i always and i always say to myself i'm very very grateful to be here and um, I, I really am it's just it's just remarkable man I, I don't have the words to really explain it to you but um i hope you guys can come here at some stage um i'm looking towards the future now as well uh the next sort of few months we're gonna see what happens with this COVID situation but I have, as I mentioned before, um, I will be staying in Patsia one more month. I've got the room sorted um, until this whole third phase sort of settled down, settles down, hopefully, by that time. And uh, next month is my birthday, so I'm very, very excited for that, June 14th. Um, so uh, that's going to be good. Um, hopefully some places will be open by that time so I can celebrate my birthday a little bit. But um, it's going to be a good time. Um, it was either going to be Patia or Phuket. And I was looking at the options for Phuket right now. Unfortunately, they're making it quite difficult to go there at this time because they want to be fully open to the international tourists uh, that are coming here for their whole sandbox scheme by July the 1st. So 
Their plan is to have uh, vaccinated tourists come in the country without quarantine, or come specifically in Phuket. So I know they're focused on that at the moment. And um, well, if you want to go to Phuket right now, you're in Thailand, you have to either um, be vaccinated or provide a COVID uh, free certificate, which, in a, which requires you to take a COVID test. And as I mentioned to you guys, COVID tests are quite expensive here. I think they're like two or three thousand baht. Um, so I haven't really looked into it too much. I want to go to Phuket very, very much, but I just don't think it's worth the hassle right now to do all this COVID tests. And um, and uh, I, I just feel like it's better here right now. You know, I don't want to, it seems too much hassle going to Phuket and um, we'll leave that for another time. But um, we'll see what happens, man. I'm still here in Pattaya, enjoying my time here. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video about taking a look at the, the nice restaurants here in Pattaya that you can see. Um, see the, the amazing sunset and view of the beach, so highly recommend it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm very very grateful for your time. God is good. Let the journey continue.